Okay, we're now going to convert complex rectangular. So when it's A plus BI form, remember that's comparable to just the uh, rectangular form. And we're going to convert it to polar, and that's comparable to R theta. The process is very similar, but you just have to understand the vocabulary. So this is, this form right here is complex rectangular, and this is complex polar, or sometimes called complex trig, depending on the professor, depending on the textbook. It's either called complex polar or co complex trig. Okay, so let's do an example. So if you have this complex term, well, remember this A plus B, we can treat it like that's an X and Y. It's very similar. And remember, when you find the radius, it's X squared plus Y squared. When you're dealing with complex numbers, what you're looking for is magnitude, and this is its notation. So the radius and the magnitude are similar processes. They're just called, they're, they're used for different purposes, so they, the notation is different, but the process is very similar. Okay, so remember, we want to convert this complex rectangular form to complex polar or trig form. So our magnitude is going to be the square root of root 14 over 2, remember close the parentheses, squared plus square root 14, close the parentheses, squared. And I'm going to do some of this. Well, root 14 squared is 14. 14 plus 14 is 28. And then 2 squared is 4. Well, when we take the square root of 28 over 4, I'm going to rewrite 28 as 4 times 7. That's over 4. All right? So you could think about it. That the 4 is just canceled, but if you didn't think to cancel the 4s, a 2 would come out in the numerator. The square root of 4 in the denominator, well, 2 over 2 is 1. So whether you cancel it before or after is kind of up to you, but it can cancel right there. So that our magnitude is the square root of 7. And the magnitude is always a positive value. In fact, you could do this because the distance, magnitude of a vector is always a positive amount. You'll never take the negative. Okay, and then we're going to find the theta, and the theta is, remember, we're going to treat it the same way. It's second tangent, but instead of y over x, we're going to take b over a. Well, again, we have theta is equal to inverse tangent of 1. We Plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 45 degrees, and 45 degrees is pi fourths. So, you're, so this is what you're looking for. You're looking for pi fourths, and you're looking for magnitude. And remember, we're going to write it in this format. I'll change my ink color. So, our magnitude is root 7. And then we have cosine pi fourths plus i sine pi fourths. All right, very similar process. It just can get a bit confusing um, because there's two different forms of rectangular, two different form, forms of polar, but you know it's complex when that i is involved. All right, that is it for this one.